Small. Welcome back. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Welcome back. I can't say it. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the channel, pals. This is a follow on video to our five best things about Portugal. And this is a little rundown of our five least favourite things or the five things that we wish we'd known before we moved here. So, let's get into that. At number one, we have got goods. It's not as easy to get things out here as it is in England. You kind of take it for granted how you can just get anything as a touch of a button, really, isn't yeah. it, in England? Normally, well, sometimes it can be next day delivery. You might say three day delivery and you get it the next day. Here, you say three days and it's a week or two weeks or we've had a right run around. Sometimes you can't even get the, get the things. And the choice is usually not as vast and you're paying more money and also if you're getting things shipped from the UK which we've looked into you are now since Brexit paying import tax which can work out pretty costly so you're paying more for the goods you've got less choice probably is websites which are better for Portuguese people or Portuguese nationals and they are going to be able to find things easier in country that we can't find at the moment but I think it's more of a culture that goes out and gets things from the shop here rather than shopping online. They kind of, from our experience, some of the people in the village, they don't trust online shopping. Like, mm. in England, it's just like second nature. You always check if you can get it online cheaper than it is in the shops. Mm -hmm. And they almost don't trust putting their, like, card details into mm -hmm. online shopping. Yeah. So they I tend to buy everything... Yeah local mm -hmm. but also as a culture they're not as a throwaway culture as much as buy quality look after their possessions and if it breaks they'll fix it yeah that's number one second hand goods in england we have never bought a vehicle brand new um or a second hand and with supply and demand there's obviously a lot more cars in the uk because of the population so i think that falls into it a lot but I mean, there's cars here, 30, 20, 30 year old, and they're still fetching pretty the, big It goes money. with the culture again, that they keep things until they don't, they don't run anymore. Yeah. So if you're moving here on the D7 visa, it's worth looking into matriculation because you can skirt the import taxes and bring in something over from the UK. I don't know how that factors in moving here from a different country. but. Yeah, you can skirt the import taxes, which can be quite hefty if you have to pay them. It's not going to be worth your while bringing a car over from abroad, but through the D7 residency, you can actually bring a car over from abroad. We've recently bought a car, haven't we? And what you get for your money is nowhere near what you could get. Yeah, we bought a car here, and it's a 20-year-old Golf Estate. You can get the same estate for about half the price in the UK. Along with that, it's not just cars, it's second-hand goods in general do really hold the value here and it's not like when you go online and you'll find second-hand goods in the UK here, people want top dollar for stuff, you know, so if you're looking for second-hand goods, then you're going to be paying more expensive than what you would usually be used to, not, not here. Number three. The bugs. The bugs. <laughs> We've just Flies, mosquitoes, midges, you name it, we've got it. Yeah. <laughs> so they are pretty... There's one right there on the table. We've just swatted about three of them. We make a massive effort to keep the door shut now. We've got a fly blind and you still can't keep them out. And moths, fruit flies, and yeah, they can be quite bad. Because it's been so hot this summer, they haven't been as prevalent, so we've told, than previous years. But because it's cooling down now, I think there's been a hatching and they are quite uh, numerous, let's say. So, yeah, that's something that you need to bear in mind. You're obviously going to get that in every country, especially hot ones, but that is one of our bugbears. Mm. And ticks. Bella gets rid of the ticks as well. Yeah. If you've got dogs and they're going through the, the long grass and obviously humans, they can latch onto humans as well. But I've ticks, had two from Bella. <laughs> yeah. Ticks is a big one. But then we've got Bella. She had a lot of ticks. So you've got to check your dogs over and obviously yourself as well daily. And yeah, make sure that 
you haven't got them on you. Number four is cuisine. We love our food. We love eating different types of food. Love it. Lots. <laughs> As you have seen by last video. <laughs> Lots of different types of cuisine, which um, isn't as popular over here in England, you know, having a curry, having a mm -hmm. Chinese, having a Thai, anything you can get, can't you, in England. Mm. And, in the shops as well, there's obviously not as much a variety of ingredients as what you would get in the UK or elsewhere. And I think in the cities, if you need in the Lisbon, cities, you're you going to have specialised shops and, and stuff like that. But where we are, you know, you can't get what were we after the other day? Fish, fish sauce. <laughs> fish sauce, couldn't get fish sauce. But in the cities, you're going to have no problems. And in the supermarket, a little bit further out, there's there's plenty to to have. You've obviously just got to change your diet up a little bit. But as far as going out of restaurants, there's not going to be as much variety as apart from if you are in the cities and you're just going to, if you really want the foods that you like, then you're going to have to make the, eff the further effort to go out and, and source the ingredients and, and make them in your house, which is what we intend to do. And when you found certain ingredients that you need, remembering where you can get them and going from there. But we would advise that if you are looking to move here, you're going to have a change of your diet lifestyle. and lifestyle just eating a lot fresher obviously tailoring your cuisine and your meals that you have to whatever you can get hold of here last up number five the portuguese have a very laid-back approach to everything and if you're not used to it mm -hmm. you best get used to it quick <laughs> mm -hmm. you can say this is a good thing or a bad thing i'm quite a laid-back back person it's not always a bad thing you just got to get with the program when you're in restaurants and stuff you, you get served and it might be going to be longer than you would take elsewhere but in the UK especially your service is a big one in the in the states the services is is top of the charts top of the charts in the US the service is obviously up there and it's the high priority, it's high it? priority whereas here I mean I, I wouldn't like to think what American people would think like when they came here if they weren't aware of how the service is, differs because you're going to wait longer and that goes for anything to do with doctor's appointments, dentist appointments, opticians, waiting in queues in supermarkets, restaurants, anything. It's just a little bit more laid, laid back, similar to, it's this part of the world, I think Spain's very similar, but Portugal is very laid back. So take that as a positive or a negative, it swings both ways. That is in at number five. Cinco. 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 Oh, look at you. <laughs> You're learning. <laughs> Get the numbers in now. Thanks for watching. I hope this has helped. If you've got any questions about your move to Portugal, feel free to drop us a comment and we'll get back to you. Yeah, currently my parents are out here. We are heading to the North Territories and we're going to be having a good scout around there over the coming week and hopefully get a good feel for the place. So follow along, we'll be giving our views of the country as we find it. Thanks for watching, we'll see you in the next one.